is the Kijitia market. Uh, what we call the new Kijitia market is a vast market from this <coughs> from this area all the way. And if you if you know the market very well, you know struggle because at a point you see a concentration of tomato sellers. At another area, you see concentration of cloth sellers. At another area, you see concentration of this. But if you don't know the market very well, that is why you got you have to roam around and roam and roam and get tired. And you can also get lost in the market because it has several gates, several gates. That one. So if you get lost, you open at another area, and then you have to ask that I'm going this way, and they will direct you. That's a Kumasi children's home to my right under the Department of so Social Welfare and what is it? Under the Department of Social Welfare and Kumasi Zoo to my right also there Another the Kumasi Zoo there under the Forestry Commission. And to my right is the market sellers. And this is the periphery of the market. The periphery of the market has the people we call hawkers. Oh, yeah. Or people ah, okay. yeah, who yeah. do not have the stores, do not have permanent uh, selling place. So they come in every day to just pet and do their business. you see they're all bringing in people and just putting people into the market and taking people out on the market to their various destinations so in this area you will get vehicle to and fro from wherever within Kumasi <laughs> Yeah. It has oh, like ta thousands, yeah. thousands of people on daily basis, mm -hmm. if not millions. So when it comes to hawking, uh, is, do, do they need to get a license before oh. they can do it? Uh, no, <laughs> they don't yeah. need a license. <laughs> but the bylaws of the Metropolitan Assembly for does not allow to be hockey on the pavement and on the street, but they do eh, because there's no alternative for them, so they have to. And what also happened is that the Metropolitan Assembly sometimes enforces camps, sack them, and within three, four days, five days, one man, they are back. Yeah, in the US too. Yeah. Exactly. They are back. Now this section is basically for home use, secondhand clothing. They sell a lot of home use, secondhand clothing in this area of the market. Yeah. What, America? America. Ah, America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then also in terms of uh, food, living standard food is a bit cheaper in the Kumasi areas than Accra. And also, just a few years ago, rent in Kumasi was far, far, far cheaper than in Accra. 
even though it's more, it's still less than a car. Yeah, it's still less than a car. Even though it's more, it's still less than a car. The yes. Yeah. Now, Kumasi came into prominence due to the cocoa boom, and then there where we have the cocoa boom and came to prominence, and that's why we have a lot of uh, merchants in those areas who became rich in the cocoa business, and that's what we see. So most of these huge houses, not the old, the old one, I mean, not the present one, the all huge houses were all prosperous cocoa farmers and gold miners. Because I saw Nestle, I saw Nestle, so I saw. Yeah, Nestle has its West African headquarters here. Yeah. That's saying, I love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Nestle was, uh, when I did research on them, they literally, um, not employed, enslaved little children 